Um, yeah. Lucy, what are you doing? Oh, I'm trying to follow God. And you need one slipper and one sandal for that. Yep. Lucy, what are you doing? Oh, I'm just writing the prayers for Sunday. And you're using your nose? Yeah, why wouldn't I? Lucy, what are you doing now? Oh, I'm just reading. But your book's upside down. Yeah, obviously. Lucy, what are you doing now? Oh, I'm just getting ready to go outside. Put my jumper on. Back to front? Well, how else would I... Oh, obviously. Put my head up over my face. Lucy, what on earth are you doing now? Oh, I'm travelling only by cartwheel now. Isn't that a little bit foolish? Well, maybe, but that's kind of what I was going for. Lucy, I think we need to have a talk. Okay. Why are you doing all of these foolish things? I don't, I don't understand. Well, I was reading the Bible earlier. Hold it the right way up, please. Okay, fine. I was reading the Bible earlier and I came across this verse that said, do not deceive yourselves. If anyone of you thinks he's wise by the standards of this age, he should become a fool so that he may become wise. So I thought, I'd better become a fool then. And so I was trying to do all these foolish Lucy, things. I think you might have misunderstood the point. Oh. This passage, it's, it's telling us that there are things in this world that might seem wise that aren't what matter to God. So it might seem wise to have lots and lots of money in a really nice house so that you never have to worry about things. But that's not what matters to God. What matters to God is what's going on in our hearts.